this is Brian Custer, Senior Consultant with Pragmatic, uh, Pragmatic Works. And uh, what I'd like to talk to you today about is um, Databricks Community Edition. So Databricks Community Edition is essentially a free uh, Azure, uh, I'm sorry, a free Databricks cluster that you can use to do training and learning on and is completely free. Uh, so there's no cost associated with it at all. Um, you can go in and sign up by going to https slash slash community dot cloud dot databricks dot com. Um, so what I'm on right now is the clusters page and you can see here that I've created a new cluster. Um, it takes about usually around five to 10 minutes to start a new cluster, but you've got to have a cluster running in order to do anything in databricks, as you probably know. Um, so anyway, um, after you get your cluster going, you can go to your home folder and you can see here I've uploaded a lot of um, uh, 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 notebooks, Azure, no, I'm sorry, uh, Jupyter notebooks um, <clears throat> by, um, excuse me, by uh, just downloading them from the web and also I bought a few of them. Um, Azure, um, Databricks uh, makes um, a bunch of them available for um, a fee of $75. So you can download It's part of their Azure Databricks certification training, and you can download these um, DBC files. They're called DBC files. They're archives, and they include uh, one or more uh, uh, Jupyter notebooks, and it teaches you all kinds of things. I mean, you can learn stuff about exploratory data analysis. Um, I've got some on Azure SQL DW, working with Azure SQL DW through um, Databricks. Um, I've got stuff on model training, selection evaluation, data ingestion via ADF, um, deep learning, uh, reading and writing um, data. Uh, so I've got I've got a lot of different um, DBC files out here that that have um, one or more Jupyter notebooks inside of them. Um, one of the things that I've been working on recently is um, Databricks Delta, and so I downloaded a Delta um, DBC file and in Python, and uh, I'll show you what that looks like. Um, and so essentially, what that does is it gives you um, eight essentially eight Jupyter notebooks. And um, what they do is they kind of start um, easy and they get harder and harder as you go down the list. And then at the end, you have a capstone project where you actually go in and, um, and do a capstone project. It's really, it's really great. Um, you learn so much using these, these notebooks. Um, but anyway, uh, I'll open one of these up and just show you kind of what they look like, but they're really well done. Um, uh, sometimes you get some errors that you have to deal with, but um, most of the time they're, they're just spot on and, and they're easy to use and easy to work with. Um, this one, apparently I had a problem with uh, that I had a library that needed to be installed on the Databricks cluster. And so I installed the library and then I was able to use it. So sometimes you'll run into that, but most of the time they're really uh, just definitely uh, uh, rock solid and easy to use. Um, but anyway, you just go through here and um, whenever you want to run a cell, of course, you can click shift enter or you can um, uh, uh, go up here to run all or you can go in here to view code and, and uh, look at the command files and line numbers and things like that. Um, you can also do all sorts of things here with the menu. Um, and then you can also execute a cell by just clicking on the cell itself here. And um, uh, you can export the cell, copy the cell, add the a cell above or add a cell below, that sort of thing. But the way to execute the cells is to sim simply click shift enter on your keyboard and that executes the cells. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to show you quickly what you can do with Databricks Community Edition. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I encourage you to go out to their site and that's at, uh, again at HTTPS community.cloud.databricks.com and see what you can do. Um, you really will be surprised at what you can learn 
uh, just by getting a cluster set up and, and working with notebooks that you can download from the web or buy from their um, Databricks community site. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, thanks again for watching. Bye. Thank you.